Hey, it's Coach Colin Castello here with Shot Mechanics, and this is how you can do Terrence Ross's baseline rip move. All right, so this is a super easy play that's easy to execute on every level, and it's about reading the defender. Now, I know a lot of you aren't gonna finish with a monster dunk like this, but there's a lot of good pieces of information you can take away from how open he got. So let's take a look at the components of the baseline rip and how you can add it into your game to get some easy buckets. Now, the play actually starts on the opposite side of the floor, and because of that, Terrence Ross's man is in help side defense. Now, as the ball is swung to Terrence in the corner, you can see that now his man has to close out. Now, as the defender closes out, this is when Terrence is going to make that baseline rip decision, and he bases that decision off of his defender's footwork. And by that, I mean this. Notice that when his defender closes out, he hops into the closeout. Notice that when Terrence Ross catches the ball, his defender already has both feet in the air, and so they can't change directions. Now, a good defender might chop their steps on the closeout, and that might make this move a little bit harder because they'll be able to react. So at this point, all Terrence has to do is rip the ball through quickly, and he's got an open lane to the basket. So on offense, always be looking to take advantage when people hop to close out, and on defense, make sure that you're not hopping when you're closing out. That way, the same thing doesn't happen to you. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we got four to five videos coming every week, and they're going to get you better. You can also click the annotation above or the link in the description to get a free copy of my top three favorite shooting secrets. You can easily plug them into your game and shoot a better percentage tomorrow. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castella. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.